So this is going to be a very, very raw video. Um, I'm not going to edit anything. Um, obviously, I'm not wearing makeup. I just hopped out of the shower. And I just wanted it to be, you know, raw and real and um, for you guys to take a step inside my mind a little bit um, and for possibly my family to see this as well. Um, Pride Month is actually a very, very anxious time for me. Every single year when Pride Month comes around, it makes my throat hurt. It makes me feel like I can't speak up. It makes it hard to watch everyone be allies and be loud and proud while I'm not. When I am loud and, like, I'm proud, I'm just not loud. Um, and the reason for it is I, I, I am gay and, like, I'm bisexual. And, um, I never really found it comfortable to celebrate because I wasn't out to my family and friends. So, hi mom and dad, I'm gay. Um, and it, it kind of killed me inside watching everyone celebrate in my community but not be able to say that I'm part of this community. Um, it really hurt um, not being able to speak up and not being able to say who I am or what I am. And I do want to give some backstories, and I do want to talk here a little bit. Like, it's the last day of Pride Month, and I'm just tired of not showing people who I am and not expressing who I am. This is obviously something that affects me very deeply. It's something that took me years and years and years to accept. So I'll just start from the beginning. My first crush was Poison Ivy. I thought she was hot as fuck. And at the time, being like five years old, being young, like you don't really, you're not told that it's wrong to have a crush on a woman, you know. Um, I really liked her, and um, I've always been attracted to women. I remember um, watching porn at a young age and always, always um, being attracted to women. I remember stealing porn magazines and like collecting all the women that I thought were beautiful and stapling them together, kind of like how nowadays you have porn online and you open up all these tabs and you like skip through the tabs you like. I just got pages of the girls I like and stapled them together so I had my own booklet of women that I liked. Um, I remember when my mom found it and I blamed it on my other sibling. Um, and like I just remember like knowing that I kind of wasn't really allowed to like girls. It wasn't something said to me, but it just was kind of known, um, and I remember losing my virginity to a girl, and I actually didn't know what we were doing with sex. I had a lot of sexual experiences with girls, and I never considered it as sex. Maybe only last year when I had a lesbian partner, she had told me, you know, what you were doing was sex, like, that is sex, that's lesbian sex. Um, I didn't understand at the time, I just thought, no, we were fooling around, like, there wasn't penetration, or blah, 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 like, I was doing everything with girls, and not even admitting that I was doing that with girls, I was dating girls, and not being able to admit that I was gay, um, I was falling in love with girls, and I wasn't able to admit that I was, and I remember having a deep, deep, deep crush with a girl, um, in high school, and loving her so much and I remember when she kissed me and I couldn't accept it and it really like really my life up until like last year was um feeling things for girls and wanting to date them and dating them and fucking them and not being able to admit that to myself it wasn't that I couldn't admit it to other people it's that I couldn't admit it to myself I couldn't admit like this is how I feel I've hurt a lot of my lesbian relationships by not accepting who I am and not accepting being gay. And just quickly, I do want to say, like, I do refer to myself as being gay, even though I'm bisexual, I'm also attracted to men. Because, for example, I'm from Finland and Philippines. I can say I'm Finnish. I can say I'm Filipina. Just because I say I'm Finnish doesn't mean I'm not Filipina. Just because I say I'm Filipina doesn't mean I'm 
I'm saying I'm not Finnish. So that's what I mean by I can call myself gay or that's why I feel like I can call myself gay because I am gay and I am straight. Um, so I'm both. And I also experience a lot of inner hate in the LGBTQ plus community. I've had lesbian partners tell me I'm not gay enough and lesbian partners treat me differently during fights or arguments and kind of throw the fact that I've been with men and I've been intimate with men and I am also attracted to men. So it was very hard to accept my own gayness when I wasn't even being accepted by the community. So that's why like, I feel like I have to mention my sexual history, um, ha like my like girls being my first crush, always crushing on my female friends, um, being intimate with my female friends and not like being able to admit that what we were doing was intimate, dating girls and not being able to admit that I was dating girls, um, fucking them, etc, etc. Like I felt like, I feel like this is why I need to justify. But at the end of the day, like nobody needs to explain their history with women to be validated. You can never have sex with a girl, never kiss a girl, never hold a girl's hand and still know that you're gay. So do not think that you have to justify and explain your experiences with women for you or men, like for you to feel validated in being gay. This is my own personal issue from being excluded by the LGBTQ plus community or the people I know who are lesbians who have said to me, you're not gay enough, you're not gay enough, you're not gay enough. And I felt like I had to explain and like prove that I am. And it also happened within my family. Um, I remember I was at a family member's house and in front of all his friends, he was like, I love being the black sheep of the family. Like, I love being the gay one. Um, I'm the only gay one in the family. Like, Johanna, are you gay? And I remember, like, my mom was there. And I wasn't ready to come out. So I said no. And, like, it really killed me on the inside because it felt like I wasn't proud of who I am. And I am very proud. I just wasn't ready. And I, I would think about that a lot, going to bed and be like, Maybe I should have just said yes. Maybe I should have just told the truth. Maybe I should have just been honest. But I just wasn't ready at the time. And it hurt me to lie. And it hurt me because I'm not I'm not someone who just like lies. I'm very forthcoming and I'm very open about who I am and I'm shameless about who I am. So it hurt that there was a secret part of me that I had to hide and I remember even just last week I was on the phone with one of my friends and my mom was in the room and I had him on speaker and he asked me about an ex that I had who's a girl and I had to take him off speaker because I wasn't ready for my mom to overhear a conversation about him asking me if me and an ex who was a girl were still talking and still hanging out or whatever. And so this is still something that like bothers me so deeply and I need to, I feel the need to like blurt it out and be like, this is who I am, and it felt so good, it felt so good yesterday when I was on Instagram, and I wrote a post, and I just said, you know, like, I'm gay, and et cetera, et cetera, it felt so good, it was felt like I can finally be me, like, I can finally say who I am, and I don't care if I'm judged for it, and obviously, the people I'm most worried about getting judged about is my family. Um, I'm so lucky that I'm part of a family that won't disown me. They're not abusive. They're not going to treat me too differently, you know. I think the most that they will do and that still bothers me and worries me is that they'll gossip. They'll be like, oh my god, yeah, Hannah is so weird. She's so out there. She's so public. Why does she need to tell the world this? Like, because I couldn't even... <laughs> I couldn't even tell myself this. I couldn't even admit this to myself. So it just, I felt like I've <laughs> held it in for so long and I just needed to like blurt it out. And it felt so good and this feels good. Like I know I'm crying, but it's because I feel like I'm just one step closer to being more me every day. 
my housemate said that to me when she first moved in. She's like, every day I'm learning how to be myself more and more, and I just resonate with that so much. Every day I'm learning how to be myself more and more, and that's all that matters to me is every day I'm, I'm just being myself more and more. And that's why this video is so important to me, and that's why coming out is so important to me. And I also used to be the bitch who would say, who cares? Like, Oh, obviously, if everyone in my real life, any person who's ever touched me, any person who's ever lived with me, any person who's ever partied with me, any person who's ever worked with me, they all know I'm gay. Everyone in my personal life know this. I don't have to come out to them. They know this. But my internet family knows me more than anyone else. And my family, I obviously care about them. They don't know. And I've hinted it in videos. I've hinted it in live streams. I've hinted it. A lot of times and I've just never fully like been like yep yeah, this is me and um fuck where was I going with this but yeah like everyone in my actual personal life like they know this about me this isn't something I've like hidden from them it's I've been very authentic to the people in my everyday life but it just felt like this whole time I've like had to keep quiet about this online um, for no reason um and i've just hinted it and i'm just so sorry that you know when people would be like why are you gay baiting like i'm not like i'm not trying to and i'm so sorry if i did and if it comes across that way it was actually my way of slowly telling people like this is who i am and um the only person i like probably came out to in my family is um my eldest sister and she just you know, gave me so much love, but she also provides me a space so that I can be myself, and she sh she shows me she loves me no matter what. But yeah, I used to be the kind of person who would say, oh, like, what's the point in coming out? I don't understand the big deal in coming out. Like, why do I need to come out? If, if people, like, talk to me, they know. If people hang around with me, they'll know. But honestly, guys, if you are thinking of coming out, fucking do it. It feels like a huge weight is lifted off your shoulders. It feels like I've been hiding and I've been lying for so long and then now I'm coming out here telling the truth and actually a big catalyst for this is Mia Soros who is a Finnish YouTuber. She actually is the only person in the world I know who has the same mix as me. Her dad's from Finland and her mom's from Philippines which is the exact same mix as me. And she made a video about pathological lying and um, compulsive lying and admitting to it and to me I just saw it as such a brave move and it made me reflect on my actions and see what am I lying about, what am I hiding, what am, what am I um, withdrawing, like what information am I withdrawing from the internet, from the world. And this was one of them and this this stuck on my mind all since I watched the video. And like I said, Pride Month has been a very anxious month for me every year because it's a month where I want to scream and yell and say I support it and I support you all, all my fucking lovely people, all my lovely gays, like I love you guys so much. But being being scared that, oh, now people are going to make assumptions about me and I'd rather just tell it how it is than have people assume, yes, this is me. I'm gay and I'm proud. And this feels so good to say out loud. And I'm going to wrap this up because I know it's kind of like a <laughs> random video. Um, and if I lose subscribers for this, I don't fucking need them. If I lose family members for this, which... I don't think I will, then I didn't fucking need them because this is just who I am and I've just always, always been attracted to women, if not more so than men. I just find it way easier to date men, I find it way easier um, to get men, you know, but times where I've felt very deeply for people, they've always been women and, um, and that's okay. Sometimes I like men more and sometimes I like women more. Um, they go back and forth, go back and forth, like, there isn't really a percentage that I stick with, like, it changes all the time. Um, but yeah, anyone who's thinking of coming out, if you're in a safe place to do so, if you are, um, you know, if you're not in an abusive household or abusive community, like, it, it feels amazing, it feels really good, and I know I'm crying, it's because, like, I've told my Instagram, which is, like, a platform I use all the time, and I feel like YouTube is just just my diary and I would be lying if I if I didn't express it here so thank you everyone for accepting me and I love you all so much happy pride last last day of pride month but we celebrate pride every single day every single hour every single minute love you all bye